This video will cover both reasons of why you should either stay or leave the Unity game engine considering the recent controversy. We will discuss reasoning and quotes from history and philosophy in an attempt to be logical and level-headed. The ultimate answer will be different for different people, for whether you stay with Unity or leave to another game engine such as Unreal, Godot and GameMaker. On the 12th of September 2023, Unity announced a new runtime fee policy, which would charge developers a fixed amount for every game installation after a certain threshold of revenue and installs. Initially, this was going to be retroactive for historic games, which was problematic ethically and legally. The CEO even sold some shares shortly before the announcement, making the situation appear dodgy. The Unity game development world went wild. I think it's mostly about the CEO, the leadership of the company, and pulling the rug out from under developers. The changing of terms of service and hiding that one overnight. No one can trust them at all anymore. They can just do something worse down the road. I've decided to switch engines. We have witnessed a worldwide outcry against the Unity company with many threatening to leave and use other game engines, and some game devs have already left. The response from Unity was initially a couple of major tweaks to their new policy, causing even more outrage as this did not go far enough and eventually Unity finally realised the damage they were doing to themselves. They have now backed down and will implement what many believe to be a fair offering, only taking a cut if your game earns over a million dollars and making you use the pro version if you earn over 200,000 US dollars. For me, I found this Unity shenanigans very, very disappointing. It's a tool I absolutely love using. I've got so much joy from making games with Unity. It reminds me what us game devs went through on the death of Adobe Flash after Steve Jobs and other bigwigs publicly denounced this popular software. Developers feel betrayed by Unity. They feel that Unity was being greedy and dishonest. The policy was not transparent. Unity did not consult their incredible community before announcing it. Whilst Unity have reversed their policy and implemented a much more acceptable one, this bitter taste of the original communication remains too much for some developers. They feel the trust is gone. Was this just a mistake that Unity has learned from to never repeat, or are policies going to be altered in the future, with terms and conditions being radically altered in the middle of your game cycle? The original policy could go down in history as a case example of poor business communication and decision making. Considering other company blunders in the past, in 2011, Netflix tried to split its DVD and streaming services and raise the prices, but lost so many customers and its stock value. Netflix apologised, reversed the split, recovered and has become extremely successful. In 1985, Coca-Cola changed its formula and launched New Coke, but faced a huge backlash. Coca-Cola admitted its error, brought back the original recipe, the company learned from its mistake and its reputation has improved. These examples show that time and effort can rebuild what reputation has torn down. The game developer Electronic Arts, or EA, had a backlash in 2017 with the game Star Wars Battlefront 2 which had a pay-to-win system that required players to spend real money or else grind for hours to unlock popular characters. The company is going strong in sales, but they still have a poor reputation that's hard to overcome. If Unity has any wisdom, they'll be careful to avoid any similar public relations blunders. Rupert Murdoch said, Reputation is an asset. It's the most valuable asset for a company. Unity have announced that all game devs will now not have to use their Unity logo on their loading or splash screen. I believe this is a wise decision, as their brand at the moment brings baggage, not one you want to sue at the start of your game. Benjamin Franklin said, It can take many good deeds to build a good reputation, but only one bad one to lose it. Remember that other game engines' reputations may suddenly take a nosedive too. In 2018, Unreal Engine's parent company Epic faced a backlash from gamers and developers after it launched the Epic Game Store. They were accused by gamers and developers of being anti-consumer and anti-competitive. Some game devs switched over to Unity and other game engines. Re Epic's reputation has somewhat improved. Personally, I'm satisfied with Unity's backtracking, though I completely understand others are not, and they believe there's too much broken trust. Ultimately, what game devs want is to make fun games, have fun doing it, and to make some profit and a living out of it sometimes. If you aim to do game development as a full-time career, I would suggest trying to learn Unity and Unreal and perhaps Godot, which is improving rapidly in popularity. Godot is an open source game engine which provides some reliability away from the policy and financial blunders like we've discussed. However, like me, if your time is more limited, I'd suggest to have a brief look at each of the three. Pick one of these to learn and master.
It is widely accepted that Unreal has the edge on 3D games, but it's not yet as good on 2D game development. Unity and Godot are both known to being very solid for 2D game development, however Godot at present needs more work on their 3D features, does not have an official asset store like Unity and Unreal. The community is strong for all three of these game engines, and you'll find good tutorials for each of them. One quote worth considering is, don't let the pursuit of the ideal tool distract you from the real work at hand. For me, I love using Unity, but it's the game engine I know best, so I'll continue to use it. However, it's not the important thing. The important thing is to enjoy making computer games, finish making them, and share them with others, no matter what game engine you're using.